Hey, this is Terry, and you're listening to episode 247. Let's get started. Welcome to TerryWilson3.com. Now, if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. But you got to be willing to take the hits and not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you want to be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. Get ready to discover, develop, and monetize your skills and talents with Terry Wilson. Thank you, Christopher B. This is Terry Wilson, and you're listening to my podcast here at TerryWilson3.com. Good to be back with you. I've been out for about a week and a half, almost two weeks. And so uh, anytime I take some time off, I get emails wondering, is everything okay? So for all of you guys checking on me, I do appreciate it. Uh, I know if I ever go missing that I'll definitely have a search and rescue team out there looking for me. But uh, I had a great time in Raleigh, North Carolina last week. I uh, flew up or didn't fly, drove up uh, from Greenville here uh, to Raleigh and got credentialed and certified to be a certified practitioner for the Myers-Briggs organization. For you who don't understand or have never heard of Myers-Briggs, that is an industry standard for self-development, for finding out what makes you tick. Why do you think the way you think? What uh, uh, is the metrics you go by to judge what is good or bad? How do you... um, How do you perceive the world and how do you give back what you perceive back into the world? All of those things, the the MBTI, Myers-Briggs Type Indicator, is an instrument and tool that we are being trained on to be able to help people uh, further their career, help them grow in the the business they are in, or help them pick out a business, you know, or help them uh, find a career path that makes sense to them. You know, not everyone is designed to be the same thing in, in all areas. And one of the things, the most illuminating thing that um, I came away with the training on is just because uh, you think you are this or that doesn't necessarily mean that is what your personality type uh, would be. For instance, uh, just because you're talkative, just because you like talking, giving speeches or or being around people and, and giving, you know, information out in that, you know, that medium doesn't necessarily mean you're an extrovert. And just because you're quiet and just because you're sort of reserved and to yourself doesn't necessarily mean you're an introvert. A lot of times, and I have, am so guilty of this because just didn't know better. I would assume that my personality type and my um, way of processing information would be congruent with the behavior I exhibited. And so uh, we learned a lot about that uh, this past week. And I am uh, I I told my wife, I said, I feel like I walked away with a doctorate here in psychology. Uh, this is way deeper than what we took in high school and in college and, uh, you know, just on a, a you know cursory level. And so it was very, very valuable uh, because it's going to allow us to have a tool to not only, um, you know, in the times past, we were coach people based on our experiences and what we knew was available. And we're still going to do that. But now we have a psychosomatic tool uh, that is going to help them just discern based on their information that they uh, push in uh, and answer Um you know what's best for them and so it's a it's a, it was a real illuminating time and so if you have never uh i know if you're in one of the fortune 500 companies they say three-fourths of all fortune 500 companies use this tool to develop leadership develop teamwork uh to help manage uh various um conflict uh, because once you understand how you perceive the world, how you communicate your leadership style and grow in, in that area. And what's going to happen is it's going to help you perceive how other people uh, view the world because understanding the various types, understanding the various functions that help go into helping us, you know, make sense of the world by understanding how that works inside of you, you're also going to um, glean information and appreciation for how other people think 
and view the world. And if you can do that, that is the magic sauce in communication. Being able to say things, communicate things in a way that can be received and perceived as intended by various personality types and people. And I have spent a lifetime as an entrepreneur, as a salesperson, as a marketer, trying to hone my skills, refine my ability, not in a way that's, you know, I'm not so worried about being smooth and polished. I am who I am. And those who've been listening to this podcast for a long time know I make no apologies about it. I'm, you know, I have my personality type, my perspective on the world, and I'm just putting it out there. And and for some of you, you're going to resonate with this and it's going to give great value. But for a lot of you, you're going to say, eh, you know, he's just one of a hundred others I've listened to. And I like, you know, person over here better. And that's fine. That's the way this whole thing is supposed to work. But as I have taken this training and been exposed to it on a deeper level, uh, I can tell you, if you are a salesperson, if you are a marketer, if you are a coach, if you are a pastor, if you are a teacher, if you are anyone that your livelihood depends on your ability to communicate and have impact and influence with others, then you need to go through this training and you need to take part in this. This is beyond, you know, and I think personality assessments and and quote unquote test sometimes have a, to me at least, uh, my first impression was sort of a, a negative one in the fact that you go on social media and there's all these quizzes that you take all the time. And then it says, Oh, you're this type of person or you're this type of person. And it's, it's almost at, I judged it at the level of, you know, reading a horoscope or something, you know, it was just sort of this, you know, plastic banana, phony baloney type stuff. Uh, But when I got into seeing how this tool is developed and why, you know, Young's theory has been out over 100 years, it's time tested in this and this metric and this tool has been validated and it's been found reliable by, you know, several, several PhDs and doctors and 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 psychologists and and psychiatrists and and various people within academia that has looked at this and and the various people in ministry and various people in all different uh, sectors of the world have used this tool and have said this is one of the most effective tools out there. As I got into it and, and saw it and understood why and how it works, I can honestly say, yeah, I'd wished I'd done this years ago. Uh, because it would have put me just that further ahead in being able to communicate and uh, to be able to market and be able to sell and to be able to lead, to be able to persuade, and actually to be able, more importantly, to coach and to show people, hey, you ought to try this or you ought to try this or here is a strategy that you can start doing today and and showing people, hey, when you see this or when you hear people say this, especially if they have this personality, here's what they mean as it would be interpreted by you. And just breaking down those walls of communication that so many times gets in a way, both on a professional and a personal level. So the question I have for you today is, where does lack of career fulfillment come from? When people aren't fulfilled in their career, if they're not happy with what they're doing as a profession, where does that lack of fulfillment come from? Where does office drama and issues and conflict, where do they come from? Where does employee turnovers and low company morale come from? I saw a meme earlier today, sidebar here real quick. I don't mean to interrupt myself, but it said, if you think good employees are expensive, try bad employees. I'll tell you, if you have high turnover in your business, where does that come from? Where does various personal and professional conflicts come from? They all come from one thing, lack of self-awareness, lack of self-awareness. I saw an article that just popped off the page and it, I'm going to link to it in the show notes. It call, it's called All Great Leaders Have This One Thing. And it, it starts out, um, All great leaders share a singular and unmistakable common denominator. And then he he proposes, is it maturity? And the writer says, no, because think about it. Nobody would ever accuse Mark Zuckerberg of Facebook of being mature. Well, then is it youth? Again, he says no, because Dole Foods CEO David Murdoch is in his 90s now. What about charisma? He said, no. 
Bill Gates has the charisma of a day old cracker. He says, is it innovativeness? You know, being innovative. And he says, no, because Coke CEO uh, Mutar Kent arguably has, ha hasn't had a, a new idea in years. And then he says, well, is it intelligence? Again, he says, no, because Henry Ford had a notable low IQ. Is it empathy? Certainly not. Because Steve Jobs was an unempathetic as they come. He was as unempathetic as they come. So what is the common denominator? And then he breaks it down to what we're talking about today. It's self-awareness. Understanding who you are. Understanding how you perceive things. Understanding how the world looks by your lenses, the way you see things. See, when you understand that and understand the distinctions of how other people understand things, it allows you to break down communicational boundaries. It allows you to see things maybe as not you actually understood them, but, but as they were actually intended when they were spoken. How many times in business and in marriage has has conflicts arose simply because of miscommunication, not understanding how the other person speaks or interprets information back and forth. See, when you understand yourself and when you understand others, it's going to improve your communication. It's going to improve your leadership. It's going to improve your team building. It's going to improve the career choices and decisions you make. It's going to make you more effective. It's going to help improve your personal and professional life and culture. And it's going to help you improve the results of the objectives you have. You see, simply understanding that I am this type of personality. I see things in this way. And now I'm cognitive of it. It's going to go longer than any other skill set you could develop. Greater than any other asset. And one of the things I have learned in this, this training I just went through in the last, um, well, week, last week. You know, I knew it on an intuitive sense, but I didn't understand it from a, you know, academic sense of why I've been able to build some of the businesses I have built and what what trait, what characteristic, what what was it inside of me that helped me move from point A to point B? And it didn't matter what industry I was in. It didn't matter what, uh, you know, field that I was going in. It didn't matter what the product, good or service is. I could always start a new business around that. And it just dawned on me. You know, I had I had guesses, you know, intelligent assumptions, if you will, that uh, I would, you know, assume and maybe say, well, maybe it's this or maybe it's that. But going through this process, it broke down the 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 personality sets, the functions that uh, I work on a subconscious level I wasn't even aware of. And how it has been a true asset. And, and, and understanding that, I now understand how to develop those even more. And I'm telling you, if you want to do that, we have launched a whole new product that I want to tell you about. It's called our, our coaching uh, product. And basically, for $197, you get a full questionnaire and assessment on exactly your makeup. What makes you tick? Why do you think the way you think? Why do you behave the way you behave? See, when you can understand those things, then you can change what needs to be changed. You can leverage those assets that you have. You can take literally your money, your business, your life, and go to any level you want. And not only are we going to be able to just, you know, have a good time talking with one another and exchanging ideas and hearing you speak and, and, re and responding back and giving you some pointers. But we're going to be able to put something in your hand, a step by step strategy that says, OK, based on this this questionnaire that you have filled out and based on running it through all of the analysis that we know about with MBTI and understanding what's available in the marketplace, what's available uh, in different arenas. Here are the tools that you need. Here are some strategies you can use. Here are some things that you can do right now to achieve your objective, whatever the objective may be. 
you might want to say, hey, can I, is there a better job? Is there a better career for me out there right now than what I'm doing? We can show you that based on this assessment. Is there a way that I can earn more money staying in the career I am, I'm, I'm in? Is there ways, is there strategies? Based on this assessment, we're going to be able to give you the tools and strategies on how to do that. Is there a way that I can sell more? Terry, I'm a salesman and I just want to close more deals. Based on the assessment here, we're going to be able to get inside of what's going on, what you do, how you function, how you communicate, how you perceive other people communicating, and show you step by step uh, the tools that you need to, to be able to sell more, close more, have more influence. Hey, Terry, I want to coach people. I want to help more people. Then we're going to be able to show you the assets that you currently have, where you're strong at, where you need to stretch a little bit because there's some development needs to, to take place so that you're going to be a much more rounded, well-functioning, um, higher value coach. So if you would like to see this product, it's over at terrywilson3.com slash coaching. terrywilson3.com slash coaching. That's where you're going to get a full report, a full assessment, and a 30-minute one-on-one to go over your report, show you how it's interpreted, show you what it means, and show you how you can use it. It is a full-blown, step-by-step roadmap to your success. So if you'd like to take part of that, we're launching that in this uh, podcast today at terrywilson3.com slash coaching. Finally, if you would like to come out uh, June the 6th at 9 p.m., that's a Tuesday night, that's next Tuesday, I'm having a webinar. If you're saying, Terry, I would love to be a online uh, marketer or coach or consultant. I would like to start my own home-based business. I'd like to see how you do it. What are you doing? Because I've been doing this for going on eight years, almost nine years now. The same. I had someone join just two weeks ago and I asked him, I said, what made you decide to join now? Because I noticed he'd been on my newsletter for like five years. He says, I have seen businesses come and go gurus come and go you know things pop up things pop down but you have always been there saying just about the same thing offering some of the same tools and it and i decided well it must uh be legitimate and works because he's still doing the same thing and it is true now we upgrade some of our technology when technology needs to change but the systems and the strategies and what we do folks it is it is time tested it is a rated with the bbb it is, uh, you know, not just me, but hundreds of actually thousands of others of people using what we do to build a home based business and career that's offering a legitimate product, uh, a legitimate value uh, and, and turning a legitimate profit for them. I mean, where you're not just making, you know, five, ten bucks off stuff, you're talking for four hundred to eighteen thousand dollars, depending on what it is that you're offering. So if you would like to know more about that, that's going to be on this webinar coming up this coming Tuesday night at uh, 9 p.m. If you hear this podcast after the fact, then you'll be able to uh, check out the recording with that link. Finally, uh, I always like to give away stuff and uh, I'm giving away more books uh, at uh, terrywilson3.com slash worth more. That's terrywilson3.com slash worth more. If you'd like a copy of my uh, newest book, it's uh, it's there at terrywilson3.com slash worth more. You're definitely, uh, you know, uh, encouraged to go over there and get that. If you are still looking for health insurance, affordable health insurance, uh, you can go to terrywilson3.com slash health, terrywilson3.com slash health. And finally, if you're looking for a side hustle right now, you're just trying to make money, uh, you know, fit in the budget uh then and get your you know you got more month than you got to money then go to terrywilson3.com slash uber if you'd like to figure out how you can drive and get a signing bonus with them with uber that's terrywilson3.com slash uber you can even sign up with us work with us at terrywilson3.com slash apply and work with uber at the same time so you're making money while you're talking on the phone and while you're driving which is always very nice it's sort of a, a way that you can double dip there but listen self-awareness i'm telling you when you learn the the uniqueness about you the gift that's on the inside of you what makes you tick what makes you unique i'm telling you you're going to be able to take it to the marketplace you're going to be able to take it inside your business you're going to be able to take it inside your church and your family and you're going to make make your life and others better 
hey, remember, if you want to go to the next level, you have to grow to the next level. And that's why I want to give you a free copy of my new book, You Are Worth More. Go to terrywilson3.com slash worth more now. Thank you for listening to our show today at terrywilson3.com. If you would like more information on how we can take your money, your business, and your life to the next level, then please visit us online at terrywilson3.com or call 800-673-1728. Man, it's a great system here. This is good stuff here. I wish I found this company 10 years ago.